and that would be the last thing I have to do. So that and sprinting. But do you feel, labor, I mean, do you feel a lot better? Yeah, definitely. From where I was, absolutely. A month off was was good for you. Yeah, that ended up actually being like two. two I just take April and May. Okay. Uh, you're a senior, Tabor. Hard to believe. Very hard to believe. Um, I think, you know, it goes by very fast, and you try to enjoy every moment, but um, we just got to, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity, a lot of new things going on, um, new faces, and um, trying to be a leader to a young team. So. Yeah, tell us, Holly can't watch the new kids, because she's a coach. Mm -hmm. You can. You can be uh, Drea, Jasmine, uh, Nia, is it Nia? Yeah. Nia Moore, how are, how are they fitting in? You know, they're great, and I think the thing that we like about them the most is their competitiveness and their mindset. Um, because we know they're all very talented and um, you know the adjustment it takes a little bit you can tell in the first few workouts um, you know they just got to get adjusted to our program which is totally understandable um, but they're gonna be good and they're gonna want to win I think that's the most important thing I think everyone on this team is very hungry talking amongst the coaching staff coach Gillette coach Kyra we're all just really hungry and I think they use the word even like thirsty or just like you know we just want to win I think that's something that um, might be a little bit different than in previous years. You've got two Jasmines. How are you keeping them apart? Have they got nicknames yet? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Jasmine Phillips is JP, and then Jasmine Jones, she likes Jasmine. She's not a big JJ person, so we try to keep it with Jazz. Is the transition that you guys are, are dealing with, right? is that completely, you feel mentally, emotionally over with, and, and, and it's digested, it's chewed up, it's done, and y'all are moving out? Um, you know, honestly, I don't think so. I think there's still a lot of, um, you know, new things going on. But I think the fact that Holly is such a um, close mold of Pat helps a lot. And, you know, um, just that transition is easier. But, of course, it's going to be we don't know how the new coaches, you know, coach because we haven't been on the floor with them. We don't know, you know, just some behind-the-scenes people. So it's a little bit of adjustment. But I think by the time August, September, October comes, we should be good. I know it's just summertime. Has anything happened that kind of stands out that is done differently? Um, I think more than anything is just the people in here just really want it. Um, they're doing everything that we can possibly do, you know, inside, outside. We're all really in the offices trying to, you know, be with our coaches every day, talk to them, you know, um, try to watch film or them helping us with film stuff. I mean, it's just they're very um, open and receptive to helping us. And so I think, you know, having that new blood in here with Coach Law and Coach Elsie, um, they're energized, and that's bringing energy program. Drea Carter's in town. She's in first session. Oh, yeah, How's she fitting in with everything? Oh, I love Drea. Um, she's kind of right up my Sierra. Well, I mean, we're gym rats. We, we just live there. So I think, you know, for, for her, she's doing great. She's getting, you know, 100% healthy. She's still, I think, you know, doing a few rehab things, but she's looking good and pickup's going great for her. Talk a little bit about Jasmine Phillips. She's yeah. been in here. What, what's your initial impression of her? Holly was saying that you guys have been telling her that she's a good defense. Player. Um, what, what's your impression of her? Yeah, I think she. I think the greatest thing is she enjoys playing defense, uh -huh. and so she's excited about that. And she's very long. Mm -hmm. um, she's not very. She's not necessarily very tall, but she's very long for her size, and has good quickness and um, really nifty around the basket. And I and she's just her and I and Sierra are really in here putting shots up. Um, we're kind of a buddy, a buddy group. So close, we're close we're really trying to you know get some shots and work on those outside shots and. Um, so yeah, she's a hard worker and she's willing to do whatever it takes. Has Carter been uh, actually been on the floor with oh, you yeah, guys in definitely. pickup games? Yep, she's she, been cleared. Yeah, she's been cleared. Yeah, so, she's so, been doing great. So what's your sense of her? Her she's game? she is the ultimate energizer bunny. I mean, you watch her and she she looks like a gazelle running around, just hopping around and just uh -huh. super quick. Um, you know, she'll she'll get down and play defense too. She's continuing to work on her outside shot, but she's got great upside and really, um, you know, I think strong leadership skills as well. Is Jasmine Jones here then? Too. Yep. What's your impression of what what stands out? Godly, with she's an athlete. I mean, she is just straight up re remind people of Glory a little bit in the way that she's athletic. Obviously, Glory, um, you know, polished a lot of her skills by the end. But I think freshman year, comparably, they're going to be a little bit similar in the fact that they just can jump out of the gym, they can, um, you know, rebound, and so that's what we need. So she's that athletic. She's, she's si that similar. Similar. Wow. Are you are you willing to embrace that leadership role? You, Absolutely. You have had it, but you've been hurt so much. That's hard. You. It's hard to lead from <laughs> when when you can be, when you're in pain and on the bench a lot. This is a very young team, maybe the youngest team that Tennessee's ever fielded. Brand new head coach. How much do you feel like you and Kamiko have got to take hold of this team? Oh, I think that is 
huge. I think it's possibly just as important as something strategically we do because with a young team, leadership is so important and setting an example of this is how Lady Vol basketball is done. This is a, you know, the, the bar of what our work ethic is. This is, we're not going to let anything slip by. You know, that is all built right now in June when these freshmen come in and when even the sophomores, um, you know, this is kind of Kamiko and my team now, and we love that. I'm embracing that full, full heartedly and, and loving it, and I think um, hopefully they're responding well to it. Can you get Kamiko to embrace that too? Um, I think Kamiko is willing to embrace the role that she'll be given, and so, um, you know, leadership necessarily isn't up her alley, but she does what she is, and I think, you know, if we can get her to be the best that she can be, she'll help us in tremendous ways. So you're a veteran now working these camps. What things have you learned from, you know, being around basketball and being an instructor? Well, I think it's just fun. I've also done a lot of coaching on the outside with AU teams and um, fall league teams here. And I just enjoy that other part of you, you can, you know, play the game, but it's another thing to teach the game. And I think the more you teach it, the better you become at knowing it as well. And so I've enjoyed it. I love working with kids and seeing just um, them get a little bit better is worth it for us because that's hopefully what we're trying to do. And if you can make an impact and, you know, get them to smile or high five or, you know, yell for ball when they were as quiet as, you know, a mouse when they first got here, it's worth it. And so that's what we really try to do. So coaching in your future? Possibly. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see.